so GCMS stands for Gas Chromatography and Mass Spectrometry and it's actually a combination of two instruments. A gas chromatograph can be operated independently of a mass spectrometer and vice versa. Um, and the information that you can get out of them is slightly different. The GC part of it, it is actually capable of separating individual compounds out of a very complex mixture of compounds. So say you have um, a mixture of thousand different molecules and you want to get information um, on individual molecules or little groups of molecules. You need to somehow separate them out. Now the way a GC does that, it is essentially a little oven that has a very long column, um, a very long and narrow more column in it. And the column is coated with a film. And once we inject this mixture into the column, it will travel through it, um, pushed by what we call a carrier gas, which is usually helium. And depending on the interaction between individual molecules with a column wall, you will get a separation. So at the end of the column, we have individual compounds coming out that were initially present in a large mixture. Now, as soon as these compounds come out, they can be analyzed by the mass spectrometer. The compounds need to be ionized. So we have a little um, thing we call an ion source, where we have a filament that um, emits electrons. And once these electrons hit the molecules that come out of the GC column, they could become ionized and they're susceptible to the magnetic field in the mass spectrometer. And then they can be um, um, analyzed 